Hi, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, thanks so much. I can see the attendees just joining. Maybe we'll wait for a minute or two before starting today's session formally. In the meantime, thanks very much, uh, Bikram, Raymond, Ira, for taking out the time today and, and for speaking to the Old Dalians community. You know, a lot of people have been asking me in a kind of light-hearted, funny way, you know, uh, uh, what spirituality, right? Because I think it's such a difficult word to define. Uh, so people think that unless you are unless you're a guru or unless you are, you know, one of those people, spirituality is not something which is an everyday topic. Uh, and uh, Debishi, Sir, Kripal, you know, the team which put together this entire uh, uh, webinar actually thought that we need to find a way to tap into some positive conversations, you know, with, with all the policy discussions at an individual level, people are feeling very helpless in some ways, you know, because these are difficult times, not just in India, but world over. So we thought, why not get people who are in the wellness industry, people who are in the industry of making people happy and, and see, you know, how do we go about uh, keeping ourselves not just fit, but probably fitter than ever before, not just physically, uh, but also emotionally and mentally and spiritually. So that's what today's conversation is about. Um, and I see that people are, you know, constantly logging in. You can see their comments in the chat box. Hi, everybody. I hope you can see us and hear us. We will begin today's uh, conversation. And please feel free to put your questions in the chat box or in the Q&A box. Um, and I'll be directing some of those to our today's panelists. So thanks very much. Uh, just at the beginning, I do want to mention uh, that Kiran Kumarji uh, unfortunately couldn't join us today for the session. He's not keeping well, uh, not to alarm anybody, nothing too uh, big, but, but, but you know, he needed to sort of get rest today and, and he has uh, conveyed his apologies and greetings to all of us. So with that, uh, we get more time with the three of you. Uh, so, so, so Raymond, I want to start with you, you know, um, you look great. And, and as I was just telling you, you know, just two minutes back, that I, I, it doesn't look like lockdown has affected you at all. Uh, I want to keep today's conversation light and fluid, you know, nothing too heavy, nothing too serious. But, but tell us, how have you perceived the lockdown? Do you think especially people in the entertainment industry, I mean, everybody, right? It's not just the poor people, it's not just the rich. The COVID-19 situation has affected us, everybody. How do you think as the entertainment industry in particular, uh, you know, reacted to it? And individually, you know, what have you been doing, thinking about the entire situation? What has changed according to you and, and how, how are you dealing with it? Um, so definitely what has changed, uh, there are no shootings happening. Uh, in fact, um, uh, so it's really hit the, the makeup artists, the daily wage workers very, very badly. In fact, all of us, because uh, all of us are... Uh, a, you know, we work on pay per days, but, uh, you know, somehow for me, I've been working on a project from last two years continuously. So, Ye Teri Galia was on for two years, which just got over in uh, February. And I would tell everyone on the set that I'm just waiting for this show to get over because I need a lot of time at home. I need time with my daughter because she's a 14 year old girl and I want to spend time with her. So, once this show gets over, I'm home for the next six months. So in fact, my friends were calling me and telling me, you know, you wanted this and, you know, look where the world is right now. But yes, so um, it's uh, really hit uh, the industry in a bad way because there are a lot of makeup men, hairdressers who've been calling me and they are in a bad state because, you know, obviously they are, uh, you know, per day workers and yeah. daily wage workers, which um, they earn and they eat. So yes, it's, it's a very sad time for them. Yes. Yes, but 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 uh, Raymond, I hear that you're doing some great stuff with your NGO, and you know, in my conversation with you, we were discussing about you know the role of giving. Uh, yes. So in a situation where everybody is so affected, um, one of the things in today's topic is how do you trigger the happiness question. So so share with the audience, you know, what you think about the role of giving uh, in particular, and 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 what is it that you're doing? Please discuss more so, about. So um, definitely, yeah, the role of giving, yes. Uh, so what I feel, uh, the role of giving is very very important. So there's been a research that has been done, which has shown that enduring, um, that uh, there is a, you know, more enduring way to happiness, uh, which is. Um, you know, to spend differently than the ability to earn. So for example, you know, more and more people these days are ready to spend 
on an experience on buying an experience rather than you know buying a product because the memory of that experience is you know far greater or you know than the joy of owning a uh, a product uh, but somehow i feel uh, you know people are still not um, accustomed to uh, you know giving to uh, poor people so easily because of our mental or cultural you know social makeup we've not accepted the fact that you know there is there is a lot of happiness that you get when you you know give to people who are underprivileged or who are less privileged than us so um let me talk about my um ngo so in the year 2016 i along with five of my friends from my building we started this very small ngo it was just building ladies who gathered and we started by just uh, you know putting in 500 rupees a month and then we started doing activities so we would do two activities a month you know we would go into slums and probably give food and i realized the kind of happiness it gave me just by doing that little one activity we you know we collected once uh, i remember 10000 and we could uh, you know give food to an entire slum and we were so happy so um but also in uh, these last two months i realized that uh, the kind of um, you know money that we could collect from donations from funds uh, people were really um, people were really um, forthcoming in donating we have a page on um, instagram which is called share and care foundation where we every day put our activities like today we donated 20 pp kits to cooper hospital and uh, we put it on instagram and the kind of response we got where people wanted to donate and people are coming forward to donate so this is kind of you know there uh, i'm sure people now are realizing that it is it is the best way to uh, feel happy for me especially um i would rather spend on um you know helping someone who is less privileged than to probably buy a 1000 rupee lipstick for myself yeah it yeah it gives yeah. definitely gives me a lot of satisfaction yeah so you're suggesting that you know people in your experience are coming out and and kind of you know willing to yes. help yes yeah, so uh-huh. in the last four years i didn't see that because we would do one activity but in these last two months in this covid especially people have really come out and we've never got the kind of donations that we got in these last two months we've been doing an activity every two days so and effortlessly we've been able to uh, you know collect funds yeah yeah so bikram coming to you i mean you've been since uh, daily college days from what i hear you've been a sports person uh, you've you know focused on tennis and and of course a very you know rigid um, health regime uh, how are you how are you coping up with it especially in the lockdown times you know um, um, with no gyms uh, open uh, people just want to know you know i think uh, to begin with you know what are you doing to stay fit Uh, first of all i'll just say uh, a very uh, good evening to everyone who's watching this um uh, you know agni uh, fitness has been a way of life for me uh, because ever since i gained consciousness uh, i was always into workouts and also for me it's really important to uh, to go and run or or or, or work out but gyms were closed and i've been in lockdown since actually march 12 Uh, the lockdown actually started sometime i think so 23rd or 24th 23rd 24th yeah yeah so i've been on lockdown since 20, march 12th because i had gone to dubai and i came back and and that's when the advisory wasn't there and and subsequently the advisory did come that uh, 14 day quarantine so i've been locked up uh, by myself and gyms closed up so i was actually uh, even in our building complex there's a nice garden and and on on the podium level uh, which they closed closed it down so i was actually going in the night late in the night so that nobody could catch catch me so i was running uh, either at 12:30 at night or early morning 5:30 5:45 and this went on till about uh, for 15 days and then finally this somebody saw and then i got a complaint and Uh, uh, telling me that um, uh, you can't run there, and otherwise next time uh, we'll inform the police and all that. So then, I I I'm not one of the person who can just work out at home, you know, uh, because being at home the whole day, I want to kind of venture out. So 
the next option was to run up and down my building stairs. So I was doing up and down 45 floors. Wow. Yeah, so, so that's how, what, how, how do you live on? Which floor do you live on, Vikram? I am on the 44th floor. So I was going down and up and then, then, then down and up. Yeah, so luckily now they've opened up. So there's a timing where you can go down and run, but you have to have the mask on. So uh, for me, you know, a lot of people do meditation. A lot of people uh, take time out. For me, running is like my meditation in the sense that uh, it, it, it refreshes me. It, it kind of opens my, my, my mind and, and gets me thinking, gets me to also plan ahead, uh, uh, my, my days ahead and all that. So for me, uh, it, it was extremely crucial. And so, I mean, I've, I've, I've been able to manage my workouts and, and yeah. So, so what do you tell to, you know, everybody in the audience and especially somebody like me who says, you know, another excuse for not working out because, hey, lockdown, you know, so you're different. No, I, I think, I think you can do your workout. I mean, I'm sure you can take uh, half an hour, 45 minutes out. Uh, you have the whole, uh, I mean, leave aside eight hours of sleep and you have 16 hours with you. So you can plan your day. You can take out that half an hour, 45 minutes walk. Uh, you can do uh, yoga. If, if somebody is doing Ira would be able to help uh, better with that. Yeah. Uh, uh, stretching, uh, one could do uh, uh, push-ups, sit-ups, crunches. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, apps now that are available, uh, which which are guiding uh, how to do indoor exercises. So, I mean, it's it's just your will actually. Uh, if you have the will, then you'll find ways to go about it and 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 do stuff. So, I feel that uh, everybody needs to do that because um, you know tendency is to just eat a lot. Uh, probably some some people who drink out there would be drinking a lot. So in that uh, process, uh, one would end up, uh, I mean, uh, not taking uh, good care of themselves. And by the time this lockdown, 20, 60 days, 70 days would be over, uh, you'd realize when you, when you start uh, venturing to run or that, that you're, you're, uh, you're, I mean, you're not able to do it. Uh, um, I mean, your aptitude has gone down. Like for instance, when I, uh, when I had to run with the mask, the first day it was it was kind of I mean it hit me, and I'm I'm ex I'm extremely regular. I'm 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 fit in in that sense. So uh, if somebody is not doing anything, then after twenty to two months, uh, you know uh, their fitness level will definitely go down. Yeah, but Ira, I want to come to you uh, and and ask this question. See, you know when we think about uh, fitness. Uh, usually there's a lot of focus on physical fitness, right? That's people. That's how we perceive it. Like in India, while the wellness industry is growing, we still don't have that kind of a holistic approach to our, you know, uh, to our health more than just fitness. Now, yoga, we know, I mean, India has been looked around uh, the world as a yoga leader and you somebody who have absolutely set an inspiration in yoga teaching. So what are your thoughts on about, you know, how people should be approaching their wellness? In fact, I would just go to, uh, you know, a step further and say that perhaps one thing that positively that comes out of uh, this entire COVID situation is that people have more time to themselves. So what are you saying to people who are coming to you? You know, what's your message for everybody who might be just thinking dark times, I'm kind of feeling low. Do you think it could be turned around positively? So, you know, Avni, first of all, I'm going to have to tell you something that I am going to force you to join the yoga course starting on Monday. Okay. So... <laughs> I, I need to see you in class at 9 a.m. on Monday. That's for sure going to happen, you know? It's a yoga basics course for people of, like, you know, for, for the basics. Yes. So I'll tell you, um, you know, my take on this is very positive. For, for, for us in particular, for my yoga company, we have a small yoga company. It's been a radical change in six weeks, you know? I mean, suddenly, you know, we were quick to move online because I have an app. So I know technology. So it was easy for me to make the switch to a technical setup. And, you know, I can't tell you, we are running four yoga classes a day online. Like literally there's no excuse now on time. We have one in the morning, two in the morning, afternoon, evening. There's so many options now. So the world of fitness online has really opened up. And especially for yoga, like, you know, Bikram said, and I think it's right. You know, the gym is a little different energy. When you go to a gym, you're kind of motivated by people around you, you know, and it's like a, 
but on yoga is a self practice like yoga is really about you and yourself and mm-hmm. having the teacher for guidance and getting a little bit of the peer energy because there's other people there so it's actually so perfect yoga works so well online it works really beautifully online you know so this has opened up for a lot of people a yoga journey you know um and even i mean i can't talk about all fitness but yoga in particular all you need is a mat you don't need space you don't need equipment you don't need anything you know, that's all you need and you don't even you know it's 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 just the guidance of a teacher on the screen so for us our business has changed radically it's grown exponentially and i'm actually waiting for the lockdown to end i've actually just taught a yoga class and come here that's always a couple of minutes late you know my schedule is like back to back with classes with webinars it's crazy i'm just like when is this lockdown going to end so i can take a break you know we just organized a wellness festival um you know called being yoga which was which was india's first virtual wellness festival we had over a million people attend it to raise funds for covid-19 mm-hmm. you know so we raised about 5 lakh rupees people from all over gave we were streaming across several live platforms and this festival was amazing you know we had speakers from all over the world like bk shivani ji we had mahesh bhupati you know with people from all like rahul bose shilpa shetty people from all different backgrounds come and talk about their wellness journeys you know so and this is online and it was running it was a 12 hour marathon from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. live on 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 um you know on various various platforms mm-hmm. so it's opened up a whole new world so i actually think in yoga in particular you know it's a very ancient practice but it's meant for modern times you know everyone needs to build their immunity everyone needs to do it you know this is the only thing that's going to protect you now you know you can sanitize as much as you want you can keep yourself in isolation for how long you need to have a good immunity and yoga can help especially pranayam will help in your lung strength everyone should do it and i feel that the government is going to probably make it compulsory soon knowing this current government that everyone has to do the pranayam every day you know <laughs> so i really feel that so it's yoga is really really a very very ancient solution for modern times and i really feel that you know it because yoga works on your immunity you know it specifically works on your spleen and particular organs yes working out is good for immunity but going for a run is going to help your immunity for sh- definitely but yoga does it in a targeted way it's like going to a physician when you have a heart problem or you go to the cardiologist like which one do you go to you prefer to go to the cardiologist for your heart problem but even the gp can tell you what to do you know so that is why yoga is a very very targeted practice and it should be done and everyone should try and do it for 15 minutes a day during this lockdown so we have had a lot of people come join our community come join our virtual yoga studio from all across the world you know so that's why there has been a very very tremendous growth but it's all very positive you know teachers have been given an option to teach because teachers were also in a fix you know teachers had no income and now there's a whole new world open up for even for yoga teachers to teach online so my goal is to actually have a class every single hour you know mm-hmm. i want to grow the studio so we have a, so there's no excuse you cannot say you missed a class if you missed a class at 9 a.m. there's one at 11 a.m. there's one at 10 a.m. um i've also started doing a lot of courses like the one i invited you to because the problem with online classes is that we don't have any background in yoga so then we started a yoga course for beginners to really understand the fundamentals of yoga to practice for life so like this is is growing and now there's another request to start a weight loss course and as people have put on so much weight during lockdown eating now they're like we need to do a weight loss you know so tomorrow actually our entire yoga community is doing a juice fast together you know so so literally the entire community is like we're going to do a juice fast now so we planned it we have recipes this that everything has happened so it's actually you know this lockdown is giving people a chance to go inwards you know it's a chance to take care of their bodies through their bodies to take care of their mind and through their mind eventually to take care of their souls you know um but the first step is your body because if you don't feel good in your body you know you're not going to feel good in your mind you know if you feel lethargic and de-energized you're not going to be able to do anything you know so that's why i say guys come to the yoga mat and practice for half an hour a day and avni you're coming on monday 
<laughs> well, I will try. That's what I say as a lawyer all the time. But I, I do think that you know, I, I see your point about. I think that didn't movie, seem very promising, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like as a lawyer. <laughs> no, no, no. In fact, I was saying. But we know. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but we know that who's who's really making making the dough during this lockdown. Uh, you know, the problem has become that the the problem is that yoga in general is a very unlucrative industry. You know, so like even if you are making more money than usual, it's just never going to be really that much. You know what I mean? It's, it's never going to be like, enough anyways. Ask, ask, yeah. ask Mr. Ambani, it's never going to be enough. <laughs> no, but I think... Some more investors and some more investors, there's, there's never going to be an end anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just but, a... Casual that's true that's true but i think the fitness industry well the fitness industry is also suffering a great deal right i mean so it's like what um raymond said about the makeup industry right the daily like people who are doing a lot of freelancers but the key is that you have to switch all of this online you know so there is a way like in every like in every dark cloud there is a way you know but you have to find the way and the way is through technology and the way is how to use technology to suit yourself you know, so this is what I have realized that initially people were so scared. They were like, oh my God, what's going to happen to us in the lockdown? But the minute the ones who were smart, they adapted. Those guys are now really, you know, they're, they're feeling happy that they did. So this was my real learning that you have to adapt and you have to adapt quickly. Because if you take too much time, then, you know, your old students are going to go somewhere else. No, Ira, in fact, the point I was making about lawyers is that when you are in a profession, which is, uh, you know, largely a desk job, you're sitting on, on the desk all the time and it's a lot of mental work. Uh, I've actually realized that, you know, all the times when I do keep a certain uh, uh, health regime, it helps me focus on my work so much more than not, you know, and, and especially with yoga, I do think there is that kind of, you know, um, body yeah soul connection uh, which is absolutely unparalleled but I want to come to you Bikram and and you know ask another kind of you know just kind of take the conversation a little broader if you will uh, see people in the profession uh, in in your profession especially but even otherwise have a need to tap into the creative element and now the positive you know kind of taking a cue from era uh, people who are adopting to the new normal are definitely doing better but all these people you know who are at their homes who want to kind of find a way of keeping their creative juices flowing so to say you know what are you doing are there some specific things you're doing to kind of you know continue uh, you know being creative or giving an expression to your creative side and what can other people do do you have thoughts around that I mean, this time is there, right? So it's it's up to each one of us to use it or waste it. And and for a creative person uh, who always is like in Bombay running around and, and always wanting to get that time to sit down and do either your, write your script or, or edit your film or, or to conceptualize your film or, or your, write your screenplay or something. Uh, there's no better time, time than this, you know? Earlier times, people used to go to Lunavla to, to different farmhouses and then sit and uh, uh, just uh, um, kind of get away from the hustle and bustle of Bombay and, 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 and slow down so that they could uh, write whatever they wanted to. And this time is given, you, you don't have anything else to do. So you have the time, all the time in the world. So yeah. might as well do that. So a lot of, I know that a lot of, a lot of creative people are sitting and doing their work, writing, my friends are writing working on a couple of screenplays. As for me, uh, you know, Avni, I've been uh, last, uh, since 2014, I've been doing a new documentary series. Uh, it was actually, uh, it's a series, a uh, very personal journey of mine uh, into connecting with your own land, your own country, and uh, with the people who, who, with whom you share this land with. It's, it's, it was a road journey from Bombay to Ladakh, crisscrossing six regions, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Punjab, Himachal, Kashmir, Ladakh, and it 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 has a it covers a lot of spectrums from Kargil War, Kashmir conflict, Tibetan aspirations, partition, Bhagat Singh, Junagadh accession, wildlife conservation, and and plethora of other other topics, lives. Uh, so I finished shooting. Uh, I was on road for more than thousand days uh, every year for seven eight months. I was on the road, and I finished it in December two thousand eighteen. I was supposed to start edit. Uh, last year mid, but I wasn't able to because my apartment and my edits, edit setup was uh, still the interiors were going on. So I'm actually, 
uh, I started uh, just sitting each day and, and segregating footage because it's all in my head. I've shot it. It's a personal journey. So I myself am the cinematographer also for that series. And and uh, so the editor can't, won't be able to comprehend uh, what shot goes well. So yeah. I'm actually sitting each day on an FCP and, I, and from my earlier series, which was a sports series, uh, through trial and error and seeing the editor's work, I picked up uh, Final Cut Pro and how to work on it. So I've been sitting and lining up footages, segregating, tagging it. So yeah, I mean, I have a, a humongous task ahead, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm chiseling bit by bit, little by little, so that hopefully by the in cup in by july i should be able to get my first edit going of i'm right now uh, segregating footage footage of ladakh section so once that is done then i'll pick up uh, as and when uh, whichever editor is free i'll start doing that so i'm doing that and then my house help left <laughs> uh, so i was left with no one i was going to hire but then the lockdown started so I'm utilizing my time. I, I, I've never stepped into the kitchen that much, you know. And there was always uh, this inner aspiration that I should be able to cook something. So finally, I made up, a mi made up my mind that uh, I'll, I'll uh, cook pasta and also um, I'm, I'm making salads. I'm, 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 I'm just, uh, I mean, fending for myself. So yeah, a lot of time is going for lunch and, and, and dinner, like a brunch and a dinner. I'm, I'm eating two meals, eating healthy salads, um, uh, once in a while pasta, uh, fruits, a lot of fruits and all that. And I'm purposely not stocking chocolates. I'm not stocking uh, all these fried foods. Yeah, a little bit is there, but, but not because I know that while sitting on the edit, you, you tend to munch. So I'll rather eat grapes than, than eat, eat all those uh, chips and all that. Uh, I mean, the only exception being some nice um, granular bars or something, which are which are healthy enough, which have oats and 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 different seeds and all that. So yeah, so that's and then my apartment was done up. So I had a lot of little little things to just put in place and and segregate and all that. So I've been doing that bit by bit. So my work's keeping me busy and keeping me sane and then I take, I kind of treat myself uh, at the end of it, evening time, I have a nice view, the greenest part in Bombay. So I sit in the balcony, have my fruits and just sit and let time go by. So because, you know, uh, when you're locked down, you're by yourself, uh, it's very important to feel good, you know, just relax and, and, and it's also my me time. I've been through a lot last five years, it's been a grind. So uh, I'm using this time to kind of... Uh, uh, do and do R and R, rest and recuperate also, and 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 get my balance back. Uh, just find uh, st more stability so that once things open and and uh, I want to get this project over with, so I can just dive more deeper into the, my project. Yeah. Yeah, it's great to learn about the documentary, Bikram. I'm sure all of us will look forward to watching it. And, and I think, thank you so much for saying, you know, about the challenges also. I mean, you know, you mentioned the me time. I think it's so important because as a world and the businesses are restructuring, I think at an individual level also, all of us do need to take this time to go, you know, within, so to say, and, and kind of... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's extremely it's important, you know. Uh, people earlier used to crib that we don't have time. We don't have time to spend with, with parents. We don't have time to spend with our loved ones. We don't have time to spend with our kids. We don't, I mean, now you have all the time in the world. I mean, I mean, I wish I was, my family was there. Uh, uh, I was able to, I haven't seen my kid for like, like two months. I, I tried to FaceTime once in a while he FaceTimes. So, I mean, I, I mean, but out there, people are there who, who are fortunate enough to have their family together and their loved ones. My, my parents are back home in Indore my, and my siblings are in Indore and in New York. So, I'm catching up through FaceTiming or Zoom or, or and a and lot of my tennis friends from, from the past, like we go back 25 years, we used to play 30, like when I was 14, 15, I'm now 46. So, so what, 30 years back? I mean, so we catch up at today, tonight. In fact, after I uh, hang up with you all, <laughs> there's a Zoom call with every Saturday we are we're catching up. Then tomorrow, uh, Sunday, there's another Zoom call with another tennis group. So, I mean, out there, there's so plethora of things to do. One could read, one could play uh, uh, games with your loved ones, one could uh, listen to music. 
um, do your work, uh, Zoom calls uh, with and catch up with family uh, face to face, enjoy chatter, enjoy the meals, uh, learn cooking. There's so much to do, you know. So, and apart from work, now people are working also from home. So, 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 yeah. I mean, I think. Uh, uh, one has to look at the uh, the positives and and not the negative. Now this is the situation we are in. We can't do. In fact, we should be fortunate that we are in a in a in a such a situation out there. Look at the world. What what, what misery it is. Uh, people are losing lives. People are losing their loved ones. People are walking on the uh, highways, uh, migrating. I, I saw a video where a, a woman is dragging a suitcase and the, and the kid is sitting. I I saw one one guy who had done a this this merry-go-round, uh, this small uh, that um, that gi uh, giant wheel miniature, he had converted it into a uh, attached it to his uh, uh, motorcycle, and he was taking his family. Uh, they are sitting on those things, so it's 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 you know. So we are here fortunate, and we should. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, instead of cribbing, we should actually uh, thank that we have all the opportunity, and then in our own way, whatever, try and reach out and help. Uh, I mean, like for instance, uh, I had plumbers who were calling me because some somebody had started initiative of of migrating uh, the buses to to get the people. So yeah, I mean, whatever one can do, one should do uh, and 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 try and help out and reach out and work in whichever small way one can. Yeah, and 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 Bikram, again, you know, thank you so much. You've packed in quite a bit there. You know that one. Could yeah, I'm sorry. I hope I'm not. I'm not. Bored. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, you know, I mean, I I think it's a lot to reflect on, right? I mean, you spoke about the need to spend time with your loved one, but at the same time, you also mentioned how it's important to extend that empathy. You know, not just to people in our immediate circles, but also this kind of wider community. Uh, I do want to come to you, Raymond, and and ask what's your wellness practice? You know, I mean, different people they they say you know that we all have a certain wellness practice that we are wedded to. So 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 is is there a particular wellness practice, meditation or otherwise that you kind of find, uh, uh, you know, find your home? Yes, I have been, um, you know, uh, practicing uh, Buddhism. I follow Nichiren Daishinin's Buddhism and it's been five years. And, uh, you know, this practice gives me a lot of inner peace, a lot of, uh, you know, it just kind of makes me feel, uh, it gives me a lot of, uh, you know, sense of uh, calmness. So whenever I chant Namyoho Renge Kyom, which I do every day, twice a day, and also we have a Buddhist family. And, uh, you know, through the lockdown, this family is really, the Buddhist family has really come out and there are, there is this Parsi family. Uh, so we had a recent, uh, recently we had a Zadan Kai, which is a Buddhist meeting. And in that Buddhist meeting, one of uh, the members was a new member and she said that how she was, uh, she just moved back from Canada four months back mm -hmm. and she's a 60 plus lady and she's living all alone. And she has no house help because she had only chutta maids coming and now she's all alone. So there's this Parsi family. So I'm uh, the district chief. So um, there's this Parsi family who called me and they said that, you know, we would like to send food every day to this lady. And from that day, they took her number and they've been sending food to this lady every day. And I really felt that, you know, being in this practice, um, it kind of really gives you, um, you know, inner peace and also a sense of giving. So yes, I follow this and I think it really makes me a calmer and a more peaceful person. You know, you mentioned Ameho Renge Kyo. I, I, I got introduced to it by a friend just recently. Okay. Uh, and you know, I, I, I do want you to take a moment to actually, you know, speak to people about what it means, uh, you know, what, what does this... Um, mantra recitation may actually mean you know what happens is usually we, we kind of think that spirituality is not for me right like i'm an everyday person and i have a job to do uh, and, and we don't realize the benefits of it because like all good things it takes some time before you get into the practice and then realize the benefits of it so let's say somebody here who has never kind of you know heard about a mantra never chanted a mantra and has absolutely no idea about where to start what would you tell them to say you've got to start because or you know hold on uh, for this long before you see the benefits or this is where you begin. For example, Buddhism is a great place, but even within Buddhism, one could start at so many places and you're the second person in this week who's saying, you know, that this chanting of this mantra is so powerful. So, so I just want to maybe, you know, 
uh, take this opportunity for you to speak to people who, who wouldn't have thought about initiating anything like this in their lives thus far? Um, so for me, uh, you know, when I got married, I used to live with my in-laws in Kaf Parade. And my mother-in-law is into Buddhism. So I got married 17 years back. And my mother-in-law was the one who introduced me to, uh, you know, this practice. And I was like, hello, what is this? And what? And she gave me a Gongyo big book, which was in Japanese. And I said, I cannot read Japanese. So when I was staying with my in-laws, uh, we used to have these Buddhist practice, you know, meetings, like a Zadankai in our house. And people would come and chant. So I would sit and chant Namyoho Renge. Just like that. I would just sit. But I said, I don't want to be a part of this. Uh, so, you know, I, my in-laws are still in cuff. And I moved to Ambedi because of my work. And uh, just five years back, uh, a very dear friend of mine, uh, you know, she had some um, uh, issues. A school friend of mine, she had some issues with her health. And, uh, you know, I really wanted to, you know, she's very far away. And I really wanted to be there and you know kind of help her out and I remember I was walking on my podium and I was like how can I sitting here help her and you know there was I could just hear some chants and I could hear Namyoho Renge Kyo and I don't know why what uh, changed uh, in that instant and I just picked up my you know I just called up my mother-in-law and I told her that you know I want to connect with this practice and you are there and I'm here but you please get me connected and she was like you know Vita, I've been chanting for you to connect all these years. Uh, so I started, uh, you know, there was, she uh, got me connected. So every area, wherever you live in this whole world, there is a, a Buddhist group. So I got to know that there was right uh, on, uh, you know, the building opposite, there was a very strong Buddhist group. And I got connected the same evening. And I started getting calls from their leaders who came home and they were very, um, they were very, uh, you know, giving. They would say, okay, you tell us what time you're free. We'll just come. So there was this um, uh, creative head of um, Balaji who was like, you know, who was a very uh, uh, busy person. But just because I was a new member and they wanted to, you know, really help me get into the practice, they would say, okay, you tell us the time. So I felt that, you know, all these are busy people, but, you know, they are so giving. So the first practice of uh, first, um, you know, the first thing in Namyo Renge Kyon, that when you, when you um, get into this Buddhist group, you will realize that all these people are very calm, very happy, very positive and very giving. So all the leaders, uh, you can just call them up anytime. Like after I finish this, um, you know, webinar, tonight at 11, I have, a, you know, a, an activity with a Buddhist member with my leader at 11 because she said okay tell me what time are you free so I said okay I'll finish dinner and I'll finish this and I'll finish that I'm going to get free at 11 so she said okay Raymond fine I'll talk to you at 11 we'll do a phone activity at 11 so they are very giving also um, you know I have seen so many uh, uh, every time I chanted and I asked for something it was like that that you know lamb that you know there would jinni wala lamb that i just said okay namyo renge kyo and i just felt that oh my god so whatever i've chanted for has actually come true so i'll give you a very uh, simple uh, you know my mom wanted a flat around my area she was looking for a flat from last two years so i said okay mom you know what i'm in this practice and i really want you to you know try this you know you know, chant Namyo Renge Kyo, take this Gongyo book and try and read. So her tuta futa, you know, she was trying to read the Japanese words and she was doing Gongyo and it had been a month. So I said, okay, mom, what are you chanting for? Because, you know, they say that uh, you get beginner's benefits. So whatever you're chanting for, I'm sure you're going to get the benefits, but I want to know what you're chanting for. So she said, I've been chanting, for, I've been trying to get a flat around your area, maybe, you know, opposite or somewhere close or maybe in your building. And uh, that's what I've been chanting for. So I said, okay. So we were going to pick up my daughter from school. And um, we met a lady in the lift. And my mom tells her, you know what? I'm looking for a flat in this building. Is there any flat available? And my mom's chanting for that. And um, this lady says, oh, yes, on my floor only. Uh, so there's a flat on sale. We go down and we take uh, the number of the owner from the watchman because that flat was on rent. We call up the owner. Uh, and I'm driving to Jamnabai. And um, so the owner says, have you seen Jamnabai school? And I, I laughed because we were going to Jamnabai. And he says, okay, there's a building opposite that. My office is right there. We go there, we meet him. And the same evening, the deal was signed. And my mom has a flat in my building. 
So this That's was excellent. her experience of, uh, you know, this practice that she chanted with her whole heart. So they say, whatever you ask for, you get it. <laughs> so this is a practice of uh, also a belief. And they say that whatever you ask for, you get it. Thanks so much for sharing that. I hope it resonated with some people in the audience. Now, I know, Ira, you have to leave early. Uh, and I don't want and we don't want you to keep your mother waiting for dinner. But, you know, and, and I do have a couple of more questions in mind. But because, uh, you know, most of you have to go early, I just uh, want to ask if any of the attendees have any questions. Firstly, for Ira, you know, if anybody has a specific question for Ira, you can just put your hand up uh, and I can allow you to talk and you can, you know, uh, speak out your question loud. Or you can quickly just put it in the chat box so we can see and uh, direct it to Ira. So, uh, any questions for Ira very quickly? Uh, you can just, there's an option, you can put your hands up and I will be able to see. Uh, alternatively, you can also put your questions in uh, the chat box. If you do have any specific questions addressed to all the attendees or any specific attendees, uh, anything that you would like to know in particular. Uh, so in that case, while I'm while I'm waiting to see people's questions, I just have a last question. Maybe Ira, you can begin the response, and then you know we can reconnect with you later. Uh, but that's a question I actually you know request all the panelists to respond. You know, um, one after another in in their short time. Uh, see, we we do talk a lot about positivity, right? But a lot of people around the world and in India are facing a lot of psychological challenges. And in India, unfortunately, we don't have a culture where people, people open up their challenges with very easily, right? We usually rely on our family and loved ones. And we don't recognize that uh, mental wellness is something the numbers of depression in India are constantly on an increase. Is there something that you want to share in terms of, you know, people who are saying, you know, all this is great policy discussions, what the country can do, what the government can do, how I can give, how I can be for sure. But if there is somebody who actually is feeling that I'm going through really hard times and I'm finding it very hard to give an outlet to it. Is there a particular story relevant to you where you felt that, you know, you, you were facing a challenge in your own life in a particular way and you dealt uh, with it in a particular manner or the need to open up, the need to be okay to say, you know, if we need to go to a professional, even if that's through a video call, we should exercise that option. So, so what would be your message for anybody who's saying, I'm really going through really tough times beyond the ordinary and, you know, these usual stay fit, you know, do, do all the right things approach may not necessarily be resonating with me right now. Uh, Ira. So, uh, Agni, first of all, can you hear me? Is a voice? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Absolutely. No, I just want to say that you have brought a very interesting question to the fore. Um, you know, the realities of the tough times are actually yet to come. They haven't yet come. You know, right now we're in lockdown, but the real crisis that has to come is not going to be it's going to be once lockdown ends, you know, when, um, you know, for like right now, everyone is like, okay, it's been a month, you know, of lockdown. People have enough to sustain for a month or two months, right? But what happens when you come to month six and you don't have an income, you know, even for a middle-class family, what happens when corporates start cutting jobs because, you know, because of the coronavirus? What happens when you have an entire youth segment completely unemployed? Um, people are worried, you know, every company has announced salary cuts, you know, um, it's, it's, it's a worrisome situation. People who are in the hospitality industry, I mean, their restaurants have been shut down for three months and when they open up, God knows what's going to happen. You know, so this, there's going to be a pretty pronounced crisis and it's going to affect people in a lot of different ways. You know, and, and let me tell you what's happening. Domestic violence has shot through the roof. Mental health crises have also shot through the roof. If you talk to a psychiatrist, they don't, they're like, you know, a psychiatrist friend of mine, she's like, Ira, I have no time to talk. My schedule has become doubly full after the COVID-19 crisis. So there is a huge crisis that is just around the corner. It really is. And all of us have to be prepared. It's going to hit people who we know and people who we don't know. Um, it's going to probably hit us personally. I mean, financially, personally, right? I mean, to work, but through the stock market, through the banking, there's so many ways where all of us have lost money and there's more to lose coming up. So I do think that um, we have to be prepared for this. You know, we spoke a lot about this at the wellness festival that we held. We asked our big spiritual leaders about what it is that we can really um, do. And everyone's 
same thing. You have to build up your own emotional strength. You know, you have to, like, whatever that practice is, Raymond, it's chanting. For someone else, it could be yoga. For someone else, it could be running. Like for Vikram, it's fitness. You have to find an anchor. It's very, very important in this day and age. And that anchor could be a psychiatrist. You know, that anchor could be a spiritual, someone in a spiritual organization. Kind of also act as Indian psychologists, you know? So I really, really feel that, um, that, that um, you know, and Kripal Singh is saying that happiness is within us. You, know, you can't be looking outside too much for this. Yeah. You have to find what works for you. And that could be speaking to a shrink. It could be speaking at someone at part of living. It could be developing a community that Raymond has. It could be developing a community that we have through our yoga community. So I do think that even though we are all isolated, the internet has connected us in ways that it hasn't before. You know, and we should use and, and, and even access to a Shatai psychiatrist has been very simple. Now you do it on Zoom. You don't even have to travel somewhere. You know, and I remember um, there was a friend of mine who was living very close to me and she said, here, can you help me find a psychiatrist? I want to find someone. And we were trying to find her somewhere in the locality. You know, because you don't, you don't want to travel 40 minutes to go see a psychiatrist and you can not find anyone. But now she can do online sessions with really good people in different places. So it's so in the world, virtual world that has opened up to us, thanks to Zoom, thanks to you know various our platforms, has brought a lot of resources straight to us. And even when it comes to spirituality, I mean, um, people are saying, you know what, meditation has all become online. It's so wonderful. We don't even have to leave anymore. We don't have to skip it because we have to travel. And now it's just in our home. You know, you switch it on. There are no more excuses. It's in your home. What is your excuse? You don't have it, you know? So that's what I mean, that there are no more excuses of travel, of commute times, of traffic. Those are all through the roof, you know? So get going with whatever. Make this lockdown into a, a place for your individual practice. Netflix will have to be switched off. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely have to be switched off. But thank you so much, Evie and everyone else for having me. Um, I, I'm sorry, but I have to leave at the moment. But I will hope to connect with all of you very soon and the off, put an offer to everyone to come for a yoga class whenever they want to the Old Dealing community. It would be an honor to have you. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ira. You are a powerhouse. You are a multidimensional personality. And we are all so proud of what you're doing and you know, how you've emerged as a personal brand. I want to see you on Monday on class. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Ira. Uh, 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 Bikram and Raymond, uh, we do have an uh, 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 attendee who wants to ask a question. Mr. Madhav, uh, Madhav ji, can you hear us? Do you want to, uh, I have unmuted you. You will be able to speak. Please, please ask your question. Uh, first, I want to, I'm so happy to see Vikram, Meera and Raymond. Hi, so happy to see you. How are you doing? I can hear you. I, can't see you. I want to ask dear Raymond, that uh, how can I get connected at Indore to a Buddhist group like yours? Because I also have a lot of desires and sort of wishes, I should say. I will get you connected today. I handle the MDS for uh, the Buddhist community here and I will have someone call you from uh, the Indore uh, Buddhist group and they will have you connected. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Madhav. Thank all you. The, all of you, in fact. Thank you. Thank you. If, if anybody else has any questions, please do raise your hand and I'll take you on. But, but, but Bikram and uh, Raymond, I just quickly want to, you know, take you to the question I was asking earlier about, you know, the challenges that you face and, you know, what would be your advice for people? So um, anybody, no particular order, anybody who wants to go first. So the challenges, challenges? let Bikram go first. No, no, go, go. No, 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 please, 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 please. I was just going to ask her to no, no, you know, I, repeat I, her question exactly. The challenges, what we are facing. Um, you know, I mean, I, I, my question, Raymond, simply is that, you know, there are a lot of people in India who are facing severe challenges. I mean, it could be in the relationship front. It could be, you know, some, I mean, you could even be, you know, clinically depressed. But because we are a society that we are, we don't usually talk about these things in a very open way. Now, especially the lockdown, you know, I mean, India has never taken care of mental wellness the way we should. For example, I can talk about the industry I am from, you know, I mean, the legal industry, 
people are working such long hours and the government has done nothing in fact nobody in india is talking about a work life balance right during the covid situation we are all being forced to stay at home uh, but there is no concept of a work life balance uh, so, so you know so, so what do people yeah, do yeah. so i will uh, tell you so my daughter who is 14 rishma has a page on instagram called uh, myself esteem not esteem but esteem it's a teenager page which uh, is a mental health page and uh, it's been four months that these five kids who got together and started this page on mental health and uh, you know uh, last month from last month we realized that uh, you know we've been getting a lot of dms on that page and there was this one kid who dmed us i mean we are mothers all the mothers five mothers you know we read the dms and we you know we've got a counselor on board on the kids page and there was a dm where this kid wanted to commit suicide because she was frustrated in the lockdown so then we had a counselor you know we got her connected to the counselor but the kind of you know questions and the kind of um, you know um, queries that are we are getting in this lockdown is because a lot of teenagers are going through depression a lot of pressure because it's online school like my daughter is an ib kid and uh, they have exams going on so there's a lot of pressure and they're not used to um, you know this online studies and it's very tiring to be sitting in front of the computer from 9 in the morning to 3:30 and then you have tuitions but in a way it's keeping them busy because my husband has uh, you know he's working from home my daughter has um, online school i'm the only vela person uh, so yes but yes what i'm trying to tell you here is that uh, mental health is really being affected for a lot of people who are um, you know down and um, there are a lot of uh, uh, so yes um, a friend of mine uh, she was like uh, you know i've never been home you know i got married last year and i've been working but you know from last two months i've been home and me and my husband have been just fighting and i think by the time this lockdown ends we are going to end up in a divorce so it's hitting different people differently and i try to calm them that look you need to give each other space because both are actors so she's like it's easy for you because your husband you know busy all day he's working so you know you are you you don't understand you know he's like all the time free and we're just getting on to each other's nerves so different people are you know facing different situations yeah. but i think we just need to be calm and just go with the flow and this too shall pass that's all i can you know yeah yeah bikram yeah tell me no 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 do, do you think that there is a particular way that uh, you know uh, we should be responding to these challenges which may be beyond. you know abhi it's an unprecedented time uh, of course everybody is cooped up in the houses it's 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 it, it's getting to each one right i mean you can't you can't go out your monotony sets in every day so the only way i feel is that one needs to plan have find a purpose each day to do so that time passes and then you and and you 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 are involving yourself in a constructive activity so uh, i know netflix and all is there but but one can't just keep endlessly watching netflix or or whatever so after four days five days six days seven days that also will become very stale and and it, it will be very trying so i think that uh, i can just talk about myself i have work. fortunately i have work so i i'm busy when i get up i just have to have, have my Uh, uh breakfast or brunch and then i'm i'm on my computer and i'm working so similarly somebody else who's who's who probably does not have that much of work and can do certain other things read a book uh catch up over uh, with your loved ones uh, exercise learn cooking if any instrument or something is there do that uh, you know uh, uh, my laptop had gone for screen repair a couple of times so all my music library was uh, was uh, stored up in the in the hard drive and every time i used to say shit i need to take the music out to be able to listen to music so finally i said now spotify is there i immediately a uh, couple of days back i said i really want to listen to music and and i i don't want to go through the pains of of retrieving my my music library from the from my hard drive so i said I I I opened up a spot a Spotify account and I I within half an hour I did all the songs and now I've been on and off listening to music also so I think you know 
it all depends on what you what what you want to do if you just want to while away your time and 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 uh, 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 just at the end of these two months realize that you've just wasted it then it's up to you or you take initiative and 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 make sure that you're doing something so that by the end of these two months when you when you come out and you say you're richer as a person you 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 you've spent good time with your loved ones with your child with your parents and at the same time you worked on yourself on your fitness uh, learned something about cooking or learned any other or or uh, explored some new uh, hobby or 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 read something new i wish i i had the luxury of 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 just uh, uh putting my legs up and seeing netflix or something but i i don't uh, because i'm 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 caught up with my with my um, this series work so i haven't but this there's so much one can do and i would just recommend one film since everybody's binging uh, there's a film called bridge on the river kwai and uh, it's a it's a it's a masterpiece by david lean uh, but the movie is about these prisoners of war in burma and they were they are hold up and a new colonel comes in and takes over that regiment and he he shows them the way that that uh, there's a bridge that needs to be uh, built for the enemy mm-hmm. but in spite of that that bridge gives these people a purpose so each day becomes some purpose to to work towards and their day they they, they go they through that they get hope through that their spirits are 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 are, are is reignited so what what i'm trying to say is that one needs to find purpose you know in 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 each day how to do rather than just while away and waste time yeah yeah thank you so much i think this is also a time where you can actually spend a lot of time with your family in terms of like you know i've been busy from last two years so i've been waiting you know for a time like this that i can actually spend time at home with family you know we play ludo together we listen to music i've never had a chance to uh, you know i've never been a good cook so i've actually invested a lot of time a lot of my free time in trying to learn new dishes because we don't order food anymore so um, you know me and my house help luckily um, i have uh, my house help so both of us you know we use we see videos on youtube and we try to cook a new dish so there's a lot that can be done at home i just made a mask today out of an old t-shirt <laughs> and you know there's so much to do at home you know just keep yourself busy yeah yeah no i think uh, thank you so much for sharing you know what what is it specifically that you guys are doing and and i'm sure that everybody has uh, more resources to share uh, you know one thing that i have found most useful in the last two months is something called master class you know it's a paid thing but i mean it's not uh, it's not very expensive you get like for 16000 rupees and all access to about 80 videos these are top class instructors from around yeah. serena yeah. in teaching you know uh, 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 tips on tennis uh, become since you're interested and in yeah i know no also directors martin scorsese class is there yeah mira nair and all uh, and I, think I, would, i would just like to yeah sorry to interrupt but i would just like to add one more thing is that there are so many online courses howard is offering so many courses uh, there are there are ted talks there are so many i mean i would have indulged myself into all this had i not had uh, my work to take care of otherwise yeah. i would have i would have there there's so much nice cinema there, there, there there's so much to do it's actually up to us how to utilize this time yeah. and not waste it i mean that's that's how and and also people who are who have their parents you can you know you, you don't end up spending time with your old parents you could now is the time when you can actually sit and and and, and reminisce about all the good times and catch up make up for all the good time, uh, for for the lost time you know so yeah. uh, i mean i wish i was back home in indore and i i, I mean it would have been i haven't spent probably in these i've been out since when i was 15 years of age and and i wouldn't in from 15 till 46 i i wouldn't have spent more than a year in all these years uh, back home i wish i was there and i could have uh, uh, made up for lost time but but i would, uh, i'm sure there are there are people uh, the alumni people who have old parents who have siblings who have children spend time catch up reminisce i mean because once this thing is over i'm sure you'll look back and you'll say i wish i had the time man i i just didn't do that i mean now you have the time just do that make it constructive so that you have you you come out with great memories and you also come out with 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 positivity and a, and a better being better picture of yourself 
Yeah. I mean, I'm not giving spiel like a positive spiel, but I'm actually just telling. I mean, I wish I could. I could do a lot of things with which which a lot of people have the opportunity to. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, we can connect through Zoom. Like we have a you know Zoom meeting every two days with our parents, with family. Like tomorrow we have this entire kakkar khandan from all over the world. You know, everyone's going to be on a Zoom meeting, and I don't think we've done this ever. So this is also a time to just connect with you know your your entire family. So this I'm planning for uh, the Salujas also that you know my all my buas abroad. Everyone I'm going to get them together and do a Zoom meeting, and it's it's a nice. Uh, You know, this is the time to connect with your loved ones, and you know you have all the time in the world, which you yeah. will never get it back. Absolutely, you know, I uh, I think uh, the theme for all these webinars uh, put together by Debishi Sir and Kripal, they are here. The idea was that I think one thing we need at the end of all of this and in the middle of all of this is a feeling of community. And thank you so much for emphasizing in your own ways, you know. And I think it's also a perfect note to kind of uh, end this four series webinar. I do want to take a moment and say that you know Kiran Kumar ji uh, had to join us today, and he's not keeping too well. Nothing alarming, uh, but he needed to rest today, and he has conveyed his uh, regards to the entire Dalian family. I do think uh, that you know, uh, uh, Raymond uh, Bikram, any stories from your daily college times? Anything that comes to your mind that you want to quickly share? Kind of as a final note before. Um, there's so many. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's so, so many. many. Any, any that come to your mind particularly? Anything specially not? I mean, I, I mean, those the- those moments were extremely, uh, I mean, magical, and and I treasure them. I mean, I the memories are still vivid, of of classes, of of spending time during games, during during after games. Uh, I had a lot of border friends. I was a day border because I, I mean. I was into my tennis, so I had to. Uh, but uh, yeah, so many memories are there. I mean, and when I go back to school, I just I I I when I'm crossing each 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 corner or each each lane, I can see my younger self, uh, my my childhood self, right there. That oh, I did here, I played here, a match here, I I scored a goal here. Mm. I waited for to catch a glimpse of someone here. so all those and then assembly was special that time you know it used to be uh, at the main uh, building so yeah i mean lot of memories are there in fact ma'am badwar is there she had asked me to <laughs> once get out of the class i still remember that oh yes ma'am badwar is here and i remember her telling me cut your nails you know why are your nails so long this is not a fashion show you come to the school to study not for a fashion show Um, oh yes remember ansari sir's class yeah i remember yeah, I mean, ansari sir used to call me chubby cheeks yes bajwa sir mr joy uh, uh, jacob john so so many teachers you you, you jk jain sir i mean so many um, mr chansuria uh, uh, yeah mr dikshit economic class so they yeah, are memories i mean i think the uh they'll always be with within you you know yeah yeah ansari sir i i i mean i think sarita ma'am i think uh, got disconnected but i think ansari sir is here sir do you want to do you want to just uh, say something to all your students i remember ansari sir he used to call me chubby cheeks and i still have chubby cheeks one second i'm trying to unmute sir uh in a second sir sir can you hear us Yeah, uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes sir, we can hear you. No, I just want to say how proud I am of these two that uh, they are holding on to the last second, and Vikram, like a great tennis player, he has now warmed up and uh, he is going brilliant at the moment. Oh, I, I would lot, like, sir. Uh, I would like to call Raymond still the chubby cheek girl, you know. <laughs> Uh, very proud of you all very thank happy thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. asma ma'am ma'am is also here ma'am i've also unmuted you uh just give me a second asma they want to speak to you i don't know if yes i'm trying in the settings to unmute no, no, she ma'am she's coming she's coming don't worry okay 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 Hello. Yes, Hello, ma'am. ma'am. Thank you. 
so nice to see you avni raymond vikram all of you good evening ma'am good evening, evening ma'am been too good to see you all these sessions you know i watched and it is really a very great feeling for me as a teacher thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you so much ma'am really nice and good topics thank you thank you ma'am thank you very much so you know um, uh, as uh, as as they say i think all good things should come to an end this is the end of this uh, a uh, small series that we had thank you so much everybody for such an encouraging response for coming together across batches across the world you know to uh, connect with the dalian community and discuss a variety of issues um and uh, i i i think uh, on behalf of devishish uh, kripal and just everybody i think thanks very much for uh, doing this uh, if anybody else wants to just say a final word before yeah thanks a lot i mean if anyone wants to connect with me or something i'm on insta so i mean I, and i respond to messages i'm not some of one of the person who just doesn't respond so yeah anything uh, you can my handle is vikram saluja1 so any question any anything any any i could be of help to anyone yeah uh, just feel feel free to just write in Yes, and uh, yeah, same. If anyone wants to connect with me, I'm pretty active on Insta, and my uh, Insta ID is Raymond underscore Kakkar. And uh, yes, I also definitely respond to all my. I try to respond to all my DMs, and especially from Dalians. And I have a lot of Dalian community on my Insta, which I'm really happy, and we we are connected. But yes, it was a wonderful session, and thank you, Kripal. Thank you, uh, Dibishish. Thank you, Avni. It was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Have a great evening and Bye, stay, stay fit. Thank bye. you. Bye, Bikram. Bye, 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 bye.